one of the things that I'd like to explore is, you know, fo focusing on the area of beliefs. We, did, we didn't, didn't address beliefs directly in the practitioner training. And the, uh, so I'd like to start off by asking you what, or asking, asking the question more rhetorical, and actually you can answer the rhetorical question. <laughs> what, what is a belief? What, what is a belief? Uh, it's, it may be easy to say what a behavior is, you know, it's a, a movement, a gesture, uh, something you can hear or see. Um, but what is, what is a belief? Just what came to mind is that an order that you impose on reality in the form of the thought. Okay. Um, by the way, I haven't found a definition, a perfect definition. So we're going to kind of, it's almost like we're going to try to um, describe something that doesn't have physical form, right? It's a, you're a C belief. If I said to you, uh, um, if I described a belief like uh, in God, well, let, let's let us say if, if I work hard, then I will be successful. Mm. Is that a belief? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, but actually, it's technically it's not a belief because it's words. If I work hard, I'll be successful. Is a bunch of words. But those words are represent a belief, whatever that is, whatever the belief is. These are words that indicate some experience. Um, and how did you say it? it's a, in the form of a thought? Uh, an order you impose on reality in the form of a thought. In the form of thought. Anyone else want to take a stab at what what this thing is that we call a belief? It's a prediction. My kind of plumbing, and if this happens, that's what's going to happen. Association. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it could be in the it could be in the form of a cause effect. So a belief could be um, right. If uh, I work hard. I'll be successful if I uh, if I'm good. I'll go to heaven. If uh, I'm uh, if, if I'm effective, then uh, people will recognize it. So cause effect, and they don't, it doesn't have to be. That's one one kind of a belief. Can anyone think of another kind of belief that doesn't fit into the cause effect pattern? An evaluation. Um. Someone is an ex is a, a brilliant pianist, or someone's a, yeah, or oh. religious beliefs. Okay, believe some someone is or isn't something or some status. Okay, so you, it's there's a sense of uh, um, uh, assuming certain qualities um, in a person that they are this way and. Uh, that this they are an excellent person, a great pianist. It's a that that kind of thing. Yeah, a say. person, place, or thing. Actually, mm -hmm. France is a really hospitable country for people who like cheese. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, you need to be in there. Sorry. Hospitable. Uh. Hospital is a whole different thing. <laughs> 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 whole different belief. <laughs> so France is hospitable, or John is uh, an excellent chef, or you know this is an excellent movie. Here it's more of an equal. Here it's more a cause effect. So this is more of the lines of complex equivalence that, uh, that, that the idea is when, you know, when someone goes like this, it means they're closed. Uh, that this means closed. So the equal sign or this means 
It can either be cause effect or complex equivalence. Those are two very common beliefs, if you, if you want to break it down into beliefs. You also could talk about the uh, beliefs of existence as well. You know, I believe in God, means I, that God exists. So you believe in the existence of God. Uh, or, or to, if someone, often in the conscious, unconscious discussion, the idea of people say, well, if I said, how could you, uh, um, you know, when talk about a resource like being comfortable and doing a presentation, for some people it's like, oh, you can't, I mean, you can't be comfortable and do a presentation. They don't fit together. Uh, that's a belief that two things don't, uh, cannot coexist. So in some ways, that's, well, actually, that's uh, maybe another one which has more to do with ability or capability. Uh, the ability, um, the, where you can or can't. You know, I can't be comfortable doing a presentation. It's like, I, I, I've never been and I can't be. Now, the whole thing about a belief is you take a lot of experiences and you come to some to generalization about what's happened in the past. Based upon all the data you've taken in, you're saying, this is going to cause this, or John is an excellent chef, or God exists, um, or I can't, I can't do this. Now, of course, um, th these are, now certainly one could have a belief that's not based upon experience. Most, when I talk about beliefs, I would say they are formulations or models based upon what we've experienced, generalizations about the world, although sometimes it could be just being parodying what you've heard, and you really don't believe it. It may just be saying, well, my parents say, or the rabbi says, or the priest says, or religion says. So it, it may just be an idea that you've taken and swallowed whole that you really haven't digested. And, and for me, there are two different kinds of beliefs in that way. One that you've come to based upon experience, and one that you've come to from what you've heard. Um, now, just the other day, uh, um, uh, uh, our daughter was saying to us, uh, um, it's like something happened, she, she picked the room in her sorority and she got the last room, the smallest room. She says, I have bad luck. You know, I always have bad luck on these little things. And, and she really felt it. And she really, she was really upset that, you know, she, she tapped this car and she got this person, uh, uh, you know, made her pay uh, $500 for the car. Um, she went past an uh, ice cream truck and copy of her ticket for, for not stopping. You know, little things. So she's like this generalization that I, my, I'm, I'm, I have bad luck. Well, um, it, it, it's she felt it, and I didn't want to uh, see to argue with her. No, you do have good luck. No, that's not true. It was. I, I, what I, all I can do is offer her some counterexamples of when. You know, she, that she, in order to maintain the belief, you need to eliminate certain counterexamples. And at that time, uh, she wasn't counting them. It was like it was like she was collecting all these pieces and feeling like that's what it was. So one thing I attempted to do in that case was offer her examples of where she hasn't had bad luck and when she has had good luck. And she started, I think she, she started to take it in. But, uh, and, I, and at the same time, I want to validate her for having feelings. That our feelings sometimes, we get a gut feeling and you want to be able to trust it. And yet some of our feelings are, are distortions and generalizations and deletions of things that have occurred. And often we need to make some adjustments. Now, uh, another way of thinking about a belief is a belief is not just what we think. So if I say, you know, I believe that uh, um, uh, the Democrats are going to win the ele 